Hello, this is Tamisha with Educational Tutoring Centers with a video that was requested by one of my newer subscribers. He contacted me by phone not too long ago and uh, asked for assistance with uh, quadratic equations. So what I've done was I have a quadratic equation here on the right side of my screen. And on the left side, I have an expression, which is somewhat in the quadratic format, but it's not an equation, so we won't be solving for any variables. We'll just be um, factoring this expression. And here, we'll be solving for our zeros, or our x-intercepts, or just for the value of our variable. All of it says the same thing. Okay, so let's start with the left side of our equation. They're asking for factors. So when you factor something, you're just talking about um, what items multiply to give you back that original product. Okay, so here's what we need to do. We need to recognize this as a difference, which means subtraction, of squares. Okay, now there's a shortcut that we can take to do these. So if you recall square roots, square rooting is the inverse of squaring. So if I take the square root of a squared, it's just a. And because a times a makes a squared. And then if I take the square root of 81, well, 9 times 9 makes 81. So I'll put a 9 here. And the 9 here. And then as far as the signs that will go here, it's always going to be the opposite when you're taking a difference of squares. This means I can take the square root of this and I can take the square root of this and get something that's exact, not a decimal number. Okay, so that one it just asks for me to factor in the expression, so this is all that I need to do. There's no other simplifying to it. If you want to check yourself and make sure that you did it right, or if this appeared as an answer choice and you wanted to just work from using the guess and check method, you would do the FOIL. Because if you recognize this from one of my other videos, which I will uh, list here in the description of this video, um, you can do the FOIL method on here. And when you FOIL, you're taking the first item, which is A, and the first item here, which is A. So you're doing A times A, which equals A squared. And then you're doing O, which is the outside terms, which are here. So that would be a negative 9, because of the sign in front of it, times A which is equal to a negative 9a, and then the inside terms, which are here, and this 9 is positive, and the a, of course, is positive. There's nothing in front of it. So we have 9 times a, which makes a positive 9a, and then l, which is our last terms. We have a positive 9 and a negative 9. So negative 9 times a positive 9 makes a negative 81. And then when we want to combine it and bring this all together, we look here and we see we only have one squared a squared term. So we have a squared. And then when we look here, we see we have a negative 9 and a positive 9. So they're the exact same item, just one is positive and one negative. That means they will eliminate each other to zero, not to one. It's kind of like if you had $9 and you spend $9, you have zero dollars. And then we have our constant term here, which is a negative 81, which doesn't combine with anything. So we see we have a squared minus 81, which takes us exactly back here. So this here is our check. Just checking ourselves or if you wanted to use the guess and check method from your answer choices if it gets you back to here you know that that's the answer. Okay? Hope you have that. Have any questions about it? 
please ask your questions down below and I will be sure to get back with you. Okay, so let's look at the second one here. This one um, is an equation and it is a quadratic equation. So we have to get it in the format. The basic format says 8x squared plus bx plus c equals 0 where this is our square term which is here this is our x term which is here and c is our constant but it's over here and we need to get it on this side so just like we do with our algebra equations we have to do the opposite operation if we want to move it from one side of the equation to the other so I'm going to I'm just trying to make this fit in here um, so here, 15 minus 15 will give you 0. And then here, there are no other x squared terms. There are no other x terms. And there are no other constant terms here on the left. So we just simply write them in the format, like here. So x squared plus 2x minus 15. All right, so now we're ready to find our solutions to this quadratic equation and solutions are just simply asking where does this graph the graph of this equation cross the x-axis sometimes you'll see it as what are the zeros um, sometimes you'll see it ask what are the what is the solution okay so here we have an x square term. So we can put an x here and an x here because remember when we multiply those two first terms that gives us this which will make x squared. And then uh, for this term and this term here we need to look at the factors up here. Now for 81 since this was a rule about the difference of squares we just took the square root of it. Well we can't just simply take the square root of 15 because it's going to give us a decimal number. So what we have to do is we look at the factors of 15. And the factors of 15 are 1 times 15, 3 times 5, and that's it. Now, <coughs> as far as how we find out what numbers we're going to put here and here, we want to see which combination will give us this positive 2 here in the center. And so when I look, and, and that combination will be either through addition or subtraction, depending on what our signs are going to be here. Now we know what the signs are going to be based on what we have here in our quadratic equation. And I always first look here at the uh, constant term. That sign is a negative. Now when that sign is a negative, we will automatically put a plus and a minus in there. And the reason being is because when we do the FOIL, just like we did here, I should say when we do this term times this term, it's going to produce a negative. This term times this one makes a positive. So we're going to be essentially subtracting. So when we do a 15 minus 1 or 1 minus 15, we won't get a 2 here. But if we do a 5 and a 3, we can get the difference between these two is 2. So now it's just a matter of where am I going to put my 5, where am I going to put my 3? Well, the 2 is positive, so I'm going to put my 5 with the plus sign. And I'm going to put 3 with the minus sign. That way I have a bigger positive than a negative, and it will still produce this positive sign in the middle. So, um, now that this is factored, I want to check myself, and I do what I call a smile method. So there's the chin, and there's the smile. So the smile method tells me I have this times this, which is 5x, and I have this times this, which is a negative 3x. So that will, let me write it here, 5x and negative 3x. Together, that makes a positive 2x, and that's what I have in the middle, and that's exactly what I needed. If it turned out that I ended up with the opposite sign of what I would need, I would just simply change this to a minus and change that to a plus. Okay, so now let's solve these. So I have x plus 5 
and I'm going to set that equal to 0. Equal to 0. And then I'll take this x minus 3, set that equal to 0. I don't need these parentheses either, by the way. Um, so again, in algebra, we do the opposite operation so that we can solve for our variable. So that's gone. And so x is equal to negative 3. And over here, we have 5 minus 5, so that goes to 0. We have an x that I'm bringing down. And we have 0 minus 5, which is a negative 5. So those are my solutions. Let me do these. Negative 3 times negative 5. Okay, so those are the solutions for that quadratic equation. And can you check this out? Sure. You can take that negative 3 and uh, substitute it back into this equation. So you can say I'm taking a negative 3 and squaring it. It makes 9. And then I'm going to add it to a negative 3 times 2, which makes a negative 6. That should be a positive 3. And that makes 15. And then I would do the same thing with the negative 5, which will make 25. And uh, a negative 10. So that would also make 15. And so you know that your answer is